Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Spire of the Dragon, where I will die instantly and fail. Um, yes, today we're going to be hitting the levels of Magic Crafters, and it's going to be fun times. And we'll start off with Alpine Ridge. Alpine Ridge is a pretty interesting level. Has uh, these unique, massive, fat enemies. Don't know exactly what they're supposed to be. Their texture, for some reason, reminds me of a sort of a spider creature. Ah, this guy's a bitch to take out. Gotta be careful of the, uh, the drop on the other side. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> Falling forever. At least I got his gem. I don't have to worry about him again. I do enjoy the Magic Crafters uh, levels. Uh, a bit more to my visual style, I suppose. Um, and they are, they have some unique, uh, more unique elements to them, I suppose. Make them interesting to play through. Like they, they are getting progressively more difficult, the levels, but um, for the most part, Magic Crafters isn't too taxing. I don't believe there are any uh, levels that ha <coughs> have particularly difficult sections to them. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I have to be more careful. Should have got that dragon first thing. Spyro. You see an, an increase in uh, jumping puzzles, I suppose, in Magic Crafters. Essentially, that is the uh, the measure of the difficulty of the Spyro, um, or of Spyro the Dragon, at least. Um, Since there are no other challenges, the only uh, the only stuff you have to do is take care of gems and dragons, with no like orb challenges or egg challenges or anything like that. Ah, damn you, Gandalf! Uh, yeah. So it's essentially. The difficulty of the game is measured by um, how difficult the jumping puzzles are. And Magic Crafter sees it, it's a step up from uh, Beast Makers. No, oh, Beast Makers is the next one. That's when things start to get really difficult. Unless, of course, you know what you're doing. Which I do. So, it'll only be marginally difficult. <laughs> But yeah, it seems the levels are a lot more based around uh, platforms. Ah, oh, that was lucky. Which are floating in mid-air mid and you get all that weird mist that you can fall into. Bottomless worlds and such forth. Is that all the 
gems from this area it was, wasn't it? Ah, I'm gonna fail. Crap. I'm doing very poorly today. <laughs> but that's just the nature of these levels. Is that if you screw up, you die. All the time. As they are not forgiving these levels. Which is why it's good to try and save uh, as many of those lives that you gather in the first couple of homeworlds because um, you're going to be running through a lot of lives. Because guys, it's all about timing with them and it's a little bit of guesswork. But they are perhaps one of the more annoying enemies in Spire of the Dragon, simply because they are uh, they mock you, <laughs> and it's uh, disheartening to be falling to your death and then hearing their mocking laughter. Could get to some people. I'm not quite sure how extensive the use of uh, supercharged jumps are in the following Spyro games. I kind of forget off the top of my head. Um, I know that there are some employed in um, 3 at least. But I think Spyro 1 is definitely the pinnacle of the super jump. Um, jumping puzzle. And there are a lot of them. Now, where is this? Is this. That's. The beginning? Yeah, that's the beginning. And this is the end, obviously. But we are by no means done. There's still a lot to take care of. Um, do I go down there first, or should I do this bit? I think I'll hit this section first. I think this is a dead end, as far as I can remember. Yeah, your life. Desperately need those. Because I'm not doing... I'm not repeating levels, and I'm not killing every enemy over again if I have to restart, I'm not getting all the pearls required for me to actually uh, earn more lives. So I think it was a much better system that they implemented with the uh, flame 10 animals uh, and get a sparkly butterfly for a life in the follow-up games. I think trying to kill, I think it's about 20 or 25 of the orbs you have to get uh, dragon. It's 25 of the uh, 20 or 25 of the pearls from killing enemies you've already killed. Oh crap crap crap. Yeah. It's the problem with these things. It's can't really stand on the same platform as them where you lose a hit point. But yes, I must finish. <laughs> I always do this. I always start a point, then get distracted by whatever I'm doing, and then die. Cool. <laughs> Yay, blue water. Shall I dive in it? Yes, I will, and die. At least I'm back here, and I have those. Now it's time to get this thief.
Right, must finish that point. It's a, it's a lot of effort to get all the pearls from doubling back and killing enemies. God damn it. Sneezed. That was not pleasant. Couldn't really cover it up since I'm wearing my microphone. <laughs> uh, it's been a majorly distracted session thus far. Is that everything? Yes it is. Sweet. <laughs> Moving on.